My name's Bailey and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have a different style of video that I'm really excited to try out for you guys. We'll be going deep on why I have my dolls, their stories, and how I got them. Grab a snack or your favorite doll and let's get into it. All right, the first doll on my list is Nellie. And I got Nellie in 2004 from my maternal grandmother. She was my first childhood doll. And I like to think my grandma chose Nellie because we both had really unfortunate haircuts with bangs. And my haircut was so short that I think that she felt like Nellie would be a really good accompaniment for me. I think also that the Josefina mold favors my dad's side of the family, including myself. Nellie wasn't my favorite as a kid. I would have never understood why so many people want her today. Currently, she is my first doll to kickstart my adult collection. I am so grateful to have my Nellie. She feels semi-separate from my collection. Nellie has just so much sentimental value to me that I'm gonna have her for another wonderful 20 years. Okay, the second doll I have for you is Jess. Jess was my first adult purchase. I bought her new in box in 2021, and I chose Jess because I used to love looking at her in the catalog. My cousin received Jess as her first doll, and I still vividly remember her Jess. I used to imagine having her kayak and putting my dolls in my backyard creek. It's probably a good thing I didn't get that because I feel like I would have ruined my dolls. <laughs> Jess was the first girl of the year that I remember releasing and wondering what the doll will be like. Today, I'm still trying to figure out her place in my collection. I think she's a super unique doll and I love having her. I'm thinking of making her sporty. My cousin who had her was sporty and I think that it suits Jess. All right, my third doll that I got was Abony. Her full name is Abony Angelique Bailey. I wonder if you can tell who she's named after on the last name, but um, the middle name was also my aunt's middle name and Hers was unfortunately spelled incorrectly on her birth certificate and it was like a funny story in my family. Um, so I chose to put that as her name and I love Abony Angelique Bailey. I just think that it's such a good ringing name. But she was the um, first doll that I purchased that I intended to create a character for. She's gone through many names and versions I'm pretty sure I landed a good storyline for Abony. I've always wanted to create a historical story for my American Girl dolls. My favorite time period is the different 1960s movements that laid the groundwork for the America we have today. In her current story, she is a cousin of a doll I'm planning. Abony is older than her cousin, Eliza. She comforts and gives guidance to Eliza. Eliza struggles with being alternative in her conservative family. Abity's mom taught her about her uncle Julius, who was a gay black activist. She even knows where her mom keeps his photo and she makes Eliza feel more confident to face the ugly comments her stepsister Colette says. Edginess and bravery run in their family, but Eliza's dad, Abony's uncle, never spoke about this family member. What else will they discover? What will Eliza and Abony do to confront their family? I highly recommend writing stories if this inspires you. I think Abony is just so inspiring for me to write stories about. I think she's beautiful and I can picture her in kind of any time and place in history. I just think that she is such a good doll for me. <laughs> All right, so the fourth doll that I have for you guys is April. April's full name is April Prairie Webb. I was very inspired to give her a earthy name to go along with April. And as a kid, I hated reading, but I would always check out the Little House on the Prairie books. I wouldn't ever read them, I would just look at their pictures. And Webb, 
it is spelled with two B's, but it was perfect because I just thought about Charlotte's Web and how much I loved that as a kid. Um, and then April is best friends with Avery, my 113. She is a lot like me. She's a fashionista, a friend, down to earth, and ready for fun. She's my take along doll and my emotional support doll. She looks good in everything and I play with her the most. I love April. All right, the fifth doll that I have for you guys is Avery. Avery's full name is Avery Latrice Martel. His name, his first name doesn't really come from much. I just really liked the name Avery for a boy. And Latrice is my favorite drag queen, or it was, it was like the first drag queen that I really ever discovered. And it was because of RuPaul's Drag Race, but Basically, Latrice was a Tumblr meme because he sang Jesus is a Biscuit and they all danced and clapped and you know, who knows how rehearsed that was, but as a kid, I thought that was pretty iconic. And then Martel is his last name, but it was actually the middle name of a kid I went to school with and then later became one of my really good coworkers. And I just thought that it was a very interesting name and I thought I would make a really good last name for him. But he is my only boy doll. I love having him and I also cuddle with him sometimes. He's my favorite boy doll and I love the Sonali mold and thought he was perfect. I love his wig and dressing him. Maybe one day he'll have a story with his best friend April, but for right now, he's just my boy. All right. The sixth doll I have for you guys is Riley Nicole Winslow, and she is my custom Nikki Hoffman. Her name was inspired by two kids that I had in my neighborhood, and they were both named Riley, and one was a girl and one was a boy, and I just thought that it was such a cool name to be able to fit both genders. And Nicole was just a really super popular 90s name and I also had a really good friend named Nicole and Winslow is based on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air which was super popular and it's also from the Eagle song um, where it's standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. The Eagles are my favorite classic rock band so I just thought that it was a double meaning and I really liked it. I don't have too much to say about her, but she does have a small story. She is an inline park skater. She deals with hate from skateboarders, but also the same skaters want to date her. She doesn't let the park goers get to her and she rolls her own way. I am a skater myself and I've done a lot of research on whether inline or quad skating is better and I, in that research, I found that in the 90s, there was actually a lot of hate for rollerbladers because they would essentially make the skateboarders fall because they need wax in order to ride the sides of the ramps and whatnot. And the skateboarders did not need wax. Um, some skateboarders do, it's a whole big thing, but they were called fruit booters and they were made fun of by the skateboard community. And so she is a fruit booter or, you know, self-proclaimed maybe, but that is Riley. Okay. And Blossom is the last doll that I have for you guys. She is my shimmering silver and her full name is Blossom Ava Donahue. Blossom was just inspired because of her pink lips and I thought that she would be such a pink girly and so is Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. And Ava is the name of an employee that I had. I was an assistant manager somewhere and one of the employees really, really loved me. And she would like text me all the time and be like, I miss you, you were the best manager I ever had. And I just thought that it was so sweet and cool and I just wanted to immortalize her in one of my dolls. And also with that same context, there is um, Donahue and I had a therapist and her last name was Donahue. 
She's no longer my therapist. Um, I don't know if she does therapy. I can't find her myself. Um, <laughs> who knows? It's okay. It doesn't matter. But she did move away and she was like the perfect therapist for me. And I haven't branched out into getting more therapy since she's been gone. Uh, it's been a few years, but that's okay. And she doesn't have a story, but she's gorgeous and I love dressing Blossom. I think that she looks good in everything pink and sparkly and wonderful. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you had a favorite of the dolls I shared and if you have any stories for your own dolls. Thank you for making it this far and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.